Hey guys, we are rapidly approaching the one week I've been using KDE for a week type thing. And I have stumbled upon the first major issue that I've got with KDE. And to be honest, it's an issue that I expected. And maybe you guys can help me with it. I certainly hope that you can because really my experience with KDE has been a pleasant one so far. I have nothing really bad to say except for this. I've got my little USB microphone hooked up, you see there. It does not work. Just doesn't work. If I come into the KWIN mixer, once my mouse decides to start working, really don't like doing this with the touchpad, but whatever. Open up the mixer window. It shows the blue snowball. You can't see that, but there it is. Um, blue snowball. It is set to the capture device. It's turned up, all that fun stuff. If I go into the system settings, and I go into, oh, what is it, multimedia, and then I go into phonon, I can go to communication, any of the audio capture stuff. Well, didn't see that one. Maybe I'll have to try it again. Um, <laughs> let me move, move the uh, blue, blue microphone up on that one. I moved it up everywhere else into the preferred slot, uh, and it didn't help. So, uh, tell you what, let me give it a try with that. We'll see if it works. If it does, awesome. If not, fail. That's one of the things that I really enjoy about GNOME, if I hadn't mentioned it before. The ability to come in, uh, just right click on that, go to Sound Preferences, in the new window go to Input, and just select what I want. I've, I've got them both right there. Uh, but anyway, this would be an acceptable alternative for the time being, so I'm going to try it out. I'll let you know what happens. Well, still a bit of a fail in my opinion. Uh, I changed all those things around I mentioned in the Phonon Manager and it's just not doing it. Perhaps it's not using that for some reason or another. Again, I'm probably just missing something in KDE. It's, it's something I'm just unfamiliar with. I'm not going to bash on KDE for me not knowing how to do it. Uh, however, I did manage to get audio working in Audacity. I know that's not a K application, but it'll help me get the job done. So I'm going to try to do this screencast now using Record My Desktop for the video, and uh, maybe Kazam, I don't know. It starts with a K, right? <laughs> using Kazam for the video, and using uh, Audacity for the audio, and then see if I can sync it up. Should be fun. Minor success. Uh, yes, I was messing around with, uh, with the settings in Audacity, and I managed to notice if I go into uh, Record My Desktop Advanced Sound, and give it Plug HW10, Basically forcing it to use ALSA device 1 instead of the default 0, it does appear to work, so I'm going to give it an attempt. Uh, this way I don't have to worry about syncing the audio. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, uh, the worst case scenario, I'll reshoot it on my, my GNOME desktop. It's one of those things, I'm doing the challenge uh, to see if I can use KDE and to see if I could do everyday life with it. And, uh, but I'm not going to let it completely uh, push the, the main videos out of the way. Um, the good thing is I, I normally want to do a tutorial on Monday, so as long as I do get it done on Monday, I'm cool. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try this now. I'm excited that this is working in KDE. You have no idea. So, be back in a bit. Okay, fingers crossed on that one. I shot the video. It is probably five, six, seven minutes, something like that. Something that I can very easily edit down into a short, uh, look, here it is, tutorial kind of thing. It's actually rendering at the moment. Let's just hope that everything stays in sync, that the audio came out okay, that I can boost it a little bit. That's one thing I always have to do in Linux no matter what, is I have to boost the audio a little bit. Not really a complaint, just sort of a, an inconvenience, but it does work out in the end. Uh, the video creator itself pretty much failed. Uh, it, it does run, as you can see there in the background. That is Video Land Movie Creator, but the, the clips that I've given it just are showing a black screen. And it could be that I've got something set wrong in my settings, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time being concerned about it. it. This was mainly just to show what's new about VLMC and that it does run on Linux at this point. So that's definitely a bonus in my opinion. But that's about all for now. I'll, uh, I'll update right at the very end of this with what happens with the, the screencast, whether or not the audio came out working correctly or not. Uh, but so far, KDE has been working out pretty well for me. 
there are still so many things that I need to learn about it. Uh, I believe it was Librano pointed out that there are a lot of other KDE-specific applications uh, as far as just the, the interface that I have been missing out on. So I'm going to take some time tonight and try to go through as many of those as I can because as we approach the end of this first week, I want to try to learn as much as I can in as little time as possible. So uh, I'm going to get to working on this video, and uh, I'll let you know how it turns out. Well, I'm extremely short on time because I've got to go get my son, but that turned out really, really well. The audio and video stayed perfectly in sync. It's only 720p, as you would expect, but uh, I'm going to be able to edit that down. It was about six minutes, and I should be able to take it down to five or four minutes. There's not that much to cut out. Uh, but I'm going to go get my son. I'm going to edit you and upload you, and uh, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely making progress with KDE, having a good time with it. So if you have any other suggestions for what to do as far as the mic to make it maybe a little easier to interact with, other than having to like manually type things into applications to make each one specifically work with it, system-wide would be great. Uh, anyway, let me know if you know anything, uh, anything else that I should try with regard to KDE before Wednesday. But that's about it. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time.